Let's talk about batteries and servos. What I want to know, how small of a battery do you use in your crawler? You may be wondering why I'm asking how small your battery is, or maybe not. So our 650 LP servos have been out for a while now, and unfortunately we have seen some more failures with very tiny 4S packs. The original issue that we had was the 4S pack not being able to snub transients and it was causing an over voltage failure inside. We got that fixed. We have TVS inside, we've got external zeners if you want some extra protection, and we are finding that some people are still having problems when they're using teeny tiny packs. So I typically use something that's more along the lines of this size when I'm using a 4S pack. I want to go out, I want to crawl for long periods of time, but there is a small segment of people that use very tiny packs. And we're talking in the like 250 to 400 milliamp range, 380 is pretty common right now. And we, we haven't seen a lot of failures, but we still have seen some failures. And number one, I want to get your input on this. If you're using really tiny packs and you have not seen a failure on forest with any direct power servo, let me know in the comments a few specific things. What ESC are you running? How are you powering your radio? And well, I've already asked you to tell, tell us what battery you're running. If you have had a failure, I do want your input below and I want the same things. What ESC are you running? Of course, what battery are you running as well? How are you powering your radio? And then if you've had a failure, I want to know how did that failure occur? Were you crawling around? Was it just on the bench? Were you using your throttle on the bench? Were you using your throttle on the rocks? Were you letting go of your throttle? Or were you just sitting there and trying to wiggle the wheels? I have a really good idea about what's happening here, but I don't want to point any fingers. I don't want to cast any blame except for on the really tiny batteries. It's obviously related to the really tiny batteries at this point. And it's the really high ESR of them. They have a high equivalent series resistance. Uh, it's both an inductance issue and a resistance issue, and they can't snub a transient. Now, we've already got the main rail snubbing on here, so maybe you can connect the dots and see where I'm going, but again, I don't want to get into too much details, but I would like to say, if you do have your servo go out using a really small pack, we will absolutely cover it. I'm going to get this figured out, and it is a shame that we have customers with some failures. I don't want to see that. Nobody wants to see that. We want to buy a nice servo and have it last for a really long time, of course. I want to sell a nice servo and have it last for a really long time, of course. I am not in the business of selling anything that is going to fail. That's, that's not what I want. I don't think anybody wants that, really. Uh, and, you know, maybe some fly-by-night companies where they're like, hey, you get a one day warranty and then they just kind of disappear. I ain't going nowhere. So the small packs are still giving us some issues. Not many, but I want zero. I want zero issues. So we're going to get to the bottom of it one way or another. Give me those details down below. That's going to help me out a lot. And in the meantime, maybe I should just say underneath 500 milliamp hour size, yeah, maybe not a good idea to run for as direct power servos. And we've seen this along a lot of different brands, but I want to focus on my own. It's something that I can fix, but I'm going to need that input on exactly how they happen and what is our common denominator. Again, I'm really sure that I think I know what happens here, but I don't want to point any fingers and I want to make sure that we can solve it so that it's an agnostic system and it doesn't matter what you are running it with. I just want it to work. So that is the goal. We're going to figure it out. If you do have any other questions or inputs, leave them down below. We'll do our best to get to them. But please give me some input on the systems that you're running, whether or not you're having a problem with them. And that is going to help us flesh out our data and then narrow this down. As always, thanks for tuning in. Have a great day.